Now we continue to follow a developing story out of Opelika, where crews are investigating the cause of this massive fire. And CBS 4's Rail Creighton is live on the scene. We're told there was a huge presence from first responders. Riel. And this was this uh, fires at a uh, Northwest 127th Street in Opelika. Right now, most of the fire trucks have gone home, but you can still see there are just a few that are out here. This fire was smoldering though for hours, but this is what you have to see. The incredible video of what this looked like earlier this morning. There were cars piled on top of each other, ablaze, flames, and a giant plume of smoke that was just climbing into the sky. This is a fire that sparked at around 2 o'clock this morning. There were 100 cars burning in a lot there in that junkyard all again on top of each other. There were some 14 units that responded from Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, so we are talking about 100 firefighters that it took to try to get this under control. It was also an extremely dangerous situation because firefighters telling us, as you can imagine, they were dealing with a lot of combustible parts. There were gas explosions happening as they were battling this blaze. They were dealing with a hazmat situation as well and limited access to water because there was a fire hydrant nearby that was apparently either not working or was out of water. By the fire chief telling us just how difficult this was. We had a, a large body of fire. Uh, flames could be seen uh, a few blocks out. We had limited access and limited water. It was a challenging fire, but uh, crews were able to quickly uh, cut it off and extinguish it. And by quickly, he means uh, about an hour. That's about the time that it took them to get this fire under control. Right now, the cause of this fire is still under investigation. We're live in Opalaka Rail, Creighton, CBS4 this morning.